Like, they've never gotten off the grind. And who's that guy? Paul Sklar. Yeah, he looks like what's possible. Yeah. Like, I, if you don't know who that guy is, he's super jacked and he's 50 years old. Looks absolutely incredible. Hard to believe. Shredded, mind blowing, full of muscle. He was a former duathlon champion, was running and biking faster, way faster than Coach Gray. Unbelievable. Almost at the Olympic level. He went and stopped doing all that cardio, slowed down a little bit, and started to build muscle. And the transformation, unbelievable. So, big question. How am I able to maintain the aesthetic physique that I have today at the ripe old age of 51? Is it steroids, TRT, great genetics, hard work, consistency, or maybe just unbelievably strong mindset and willpower? How did I do it? Let me show you. Let me start by saying that one of the main reasons that I am the way I am today is because I did not limit myself in any capacity. And by limiting myself, I mean not trying things. Thinking about my age, saying I'm too old to do this, or I'm too young to do this, or I'm too scared to do this, too afraid to do this. I made sure that I became a jack of all trades. Football, wrestling, track and field, cycling, racing, weight training, metabolic condition, not just one discipline. And every discipline that I tried, I wanted to master. So I became a jack of all trades and a master of most of them. Not all of them because we know we can't master everything, but we can do our best to try and make sure that we get the most out of everything we do. So this exercise, I probably wouldn't have tried in a million years, but I saw it, loved it. It's just a triceps exercise. But most people, when they look at something like this, they may say, that's stupid, that's ridiculous, it doesn't do anything, there's not enough resistance. My thought process is, let me try it, and let me see if I can make the most out of it, and what can I actually do with it. The second biggest factor, mindset. If you have the right mindset, you can do anything that you want to do. Looking at this barbell, I've got 315 pounds on it. I'm 51 years old. Most would say, you're too old to deadlift 315 pounds. If I took that mindset and I listened to that, I would limit myself and I would not touch this bar and I would not pick up the weight. So for me, mindset is everything. If you go into life, if you go into your daily routine with the right mindset, you'll be able to achieve anything. And that means thinking about the way that you wanna look. I've thought about the way that I wanted to look since I was about eight years old and I've had a lot of influences along the way. Schwarzenegger, Stallone, my father, my coaches. I've looked at people and I've decided this is the way that I want to look. So from an early age, I decided I want to look like this and I never stopped. I chose a path, I took the right mindset and I sped along that path and then continued that path all the way into today. Most people shy away from the things that are extremely difficult and the things that make them feel really uncomfortable. I don't. I actually attack and look for things that are challenging and uncomfortable and difficult. Don't shy away from things that are challenging. Lack of challenge breeds stagnation. So if you want to stay the same, don't challenge yourself. But if you want to look different, find things that make you look different. Most people shy away from very difficult things, and things that make them feel uncomfortable. I don't. One of the things that certainly is uncomfortable deadlifting while you have 315 pounds and trying to explain it. So in a nutshell, do things that challenge you. If you have two options and one of them is to go out for a light run or to pick up something heavy and weight lift, make your choice. But no, one of the choices is easier and one of the choices will change you. And the third and final reason that I look the way I do is because I don't make excuses and I take responsibility for everything that I do. So when you look at me and you automatically accuse me of steroids right away without doing any research, it is a blatant excuse for you not to do the work that I've done over a lifetime to achieve what I have today. So when someone accuses me of being on steroids and saying 100% he has to be on steroids, it sends the wrong message to children, to teens, adolescents, young men, young women, and even adults. Because when someone looks at me beyond steroids and says he's gotta be on TRT, he's gotta be on testosterone, then it encourages other people 
that think that's the only way to achieve a physique like that. I've got to go on drugs and guess what? When you go on drugs, you've got a very, very short lifespan. Some guys make it all the way through, but a lot die young. I've got five kids, it's not for me, and I always say in the comments when someone accuses me of it, no thanks, it's not for me. If you were to live one day in my life, stand in my shoes, you would understand. If you met me, you would understand why I'm so passionate about staying natural. I've made it to the age of 51 with no health problems because I don't stick performance enhancing drugs in my body. That's just the way that I go. I don't judge anyone that takes it. Doucette knows it, more plates, more dates knows it. Rogan knows it, I don't judge people. People are gonna do what they wanna do, but if I can encourage and help people to understand that you can do this naturally if you want. Now, if you're a bodybuilder or a competitive bodybuilder, you're screwed. You have to use drugs in order to participate and do well in that sport. That's just the way it is. And in most sports, the ones that are at the top have taken some sort of performance enhancing drug. That's not for me. I never made it to the top of my sport. I made it exactly the way that I wanted to make it. You need to make it exactly the way that you want to make it as well. So you have two choices. You can take steroids and not look like me, or you can go natural. And maybe you'll look like me and maybe you won't. I don't have the greatest genetics in the world. I'm five foot eight, 170 pounds. I'm not six foot four. I wish I was, because then I'd either be in the NFL or in the NBA. I've made the most out of what God has given me naturally. And I'm very, very proud of that. If I was on steroids, I would admit it to you very quickly. And I would say, this is the only way you can go to get my physique. I have no stake in the game other than to tell you that for me, the natural way is the best way to go for longevity. I'm 51, I've seen many of my peers and counterparts die of heart attacks because they've taken testosterone. These small doses that people accuse me of being on, these people have taken these small doses and they've had multiple heart attacks and even died. That is not how I want to go out. I don't want to be in my coffin and my family saying, he took steroids, he had a heart attack, he had a stroke, he had an aneurysm, whatever it is, and now he's in the coffin. And then I leave people behind. So no thanks, not for me. Do what you want, but understand when you make these comments, there are people out there that are reading. And you may influence, no matter who you are, you may influence a child, a young adult, an adolescent to start taking steroids when I know that is not the way to go. Again, for longevity, people can only see as far as their nose. And most people that are on steroids can only see what's happening to them now. They don't see what's happening in the future. And then when they drop dead at age 45 of a heart attack and everyone goes, what happened? They didn't care, or maybe they did care. So make the choice, do it right, do it the way that you wanna do it, but understand with hard work and then all of the components that I talked about earlier, Get all of that together, it's one big umbrella of power, powerful mindset, doing things that are uncomfortable for you, not limiting yourself by anything, challenging yourself and not making any excuses. If you do all of this, it'll set you along the right path and then you'll have in your mind exactly what you want to look like, exactly what you want to achieve. You will get there quicker and you will live a lot longer. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, please subscribe to my channel. We'll see you all next week. Back to the polls.